this is a very serious uh, question that you put me and needs a lot of time to sit down and analyze all the factors, the conditions of the workers today. Uh, although these achievements that were made over the last years are under stake because of the attacks of the monopolies and the imperialists in all levels. I would say that it's very important to sit down and see what's happening in the world today where uh, there are countries in Africa, in US, in uh, uh, Latin America, in Europe, even in Europe, in Asia, in all parts of the world, the demands of workers today are common. What they want, they want to satisfy their basic needs. That is something that the workers have been fighting for years. Uh, the, the aims of uh, the imperialists and all these attacks against labor rights, against uh, daily life, uh, they, uh, they have a, a common aim. The aim is to put us back in the medieval, what happening in the Middle Ages. But after all these years of fights and all these years of conquest, our rights, do we have uh, the right to sit down in front of the young generation of our children and do nothing just to watch? The only thing we have to do is to be united, but united in struggles, united with the class struggles because there is a lot of discussion about unity, what unity, etc. We mean for the WFTU, important is unity in action, unity in class struggles, for the satisfaction of basic needs, that is for free and public education, for uh, social security, for housing, medicines, uh, books for our children, for every, every, everywhere, for every children to have the right to go to school. We are against uh, labor, uh, uh, child labor, we are against privatizations, we are against all these attacks that the imperialists and the capital wants to, to do. And only unite we can make it. Divided we will fall.